Nicola Sturgeon to resign as Scottish First Minister means absolutely nothing. It makes no difference who is in charge of a party, of a government, of a country. When there are people behind the scenes who are telling them what to do. This is proven on a daily basis. It does not matter what the politicians say before they get in office. When they get there, they realise they have to do what they're told. This is why we have had a stream of people, before they get to office, say, we're going to use the Navy to stop illegal immigrants, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And as soon as they get in charge, nothing happens. It's political suicide not to do what you say, so why would they not do what they said? Because they're being given orders from other people. America! Scotland is no different. The reason for the Scottish thing, the reason for they want to be independent, and I say they, not as the Scottish people, because they don't give a shit, they voted against it. When I say they, I mean America. America wants a free port on the UK mainland. They've been using Ireland for 50 odd years as a free port, so they can import stuff without any checks whatsoever. That is the problem with the um, Northern Ireland Treaty. It's actually the Republic of Ireland that has a problem, not Northern Ireland. Because they don't want anybody checking what comes into Britain via Wales. The reason for the free port means that they would be able to do exactly the same, but a lot easier. So it makes no difference if Nicola Sturgeon resigns. It's not going to change anything that happens. She'll still get paid. She'll still get money. And it just means it'll be the same shit, different wrapping. And Nigel Farage is constantly harping on about this. Oh, biggest shock to me with Nicola Sturgeon. She's only 52. That's terrifying. She looked really, really... Um, yeah, Nigel Farage, he gives me the creeps. It's... He's one of these people that he seems to have modelled himself on the bad guy in V for Vendetta. His mannerisms, the way he speaks, the way he talks, his behaviour, everything. Um, the fact that this guy, he is so obviously a Trump American toady. That is all he is. He won't say he's proud to be English. He won't say he's English or anything pro-English. He'll say British. British is not English, Welsh or Scots or even Northern Irish. British now means not of this island. Which is why he harps on about the, the, the British this and British that. He is also one of that little group who like to go for their special expensive dinners where they get envelopes wanted with cash from America. Farage, Jim Davison, Jimmy Carr. Names starting to sound familiar? Russell Brand, Jonathan Ross. Sounding familiar? Exactly the same attitudes. Quite a few BBC presenters. Talk TV, GB News. Belfield was also sat at this guy's table. Remember Alex Belfield? No? Oh, oh well. Have a look. These are all people who all attend the same dinners. They claim to be separate. They claim to be independent. They claim to be unique. They're not. They're all funded by the same people. They're all run by the Irish at the orders of America. Check to see where his money comes from, where his millions came from. I don't mean for the past year or two, but look where his money came from 25 years ago when the Irish were put in charge of this island. 